Let's start a What Are These White People Doing right now. What are white people doing? So a girl named Halle Bailey. I have a point about that. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I don't. This goes to my thing of, you know how they retire numbers in sports? You should be able to retire names in show business. Yeah. So Lil you, Nas X. Lil Nas X should not exist. Nas? Nas should have been retired. Can't like you Nas. cannot. Um, Halle Bailey. Y- uh, you think it's Halle Berry. Yeah, Even everyone, when I said it just now, I'm, I still thought it's Halle because Berry. Of, it's because of the way she says spells Halle, which is H-A-L-L-E. That's how Halle Berry spells it. Ah, got it. And it's like, it's such a weird name to spell yeah. Halle, 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 that... It's yeah. a little like, eh, I don't and like she's it. like a cute black girl. It's a little yeah. courting. Yes. That's okay. Yeah, I think that it should be, their name should be retired. Uh, well, Dave Chappelle never would have gotten in because of David LaChapelle. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> so there's just, be, there's an, a lot of, uh, I mean, Dave I remember Lush. when ASAP Rocky would call oh, himself. Then, yeah. Go, go. What, what? Mike interrupted you. Uh, ASAP Rocky would. He would call himself Skinny Flocka, which is what most deaf used to call himself. And it was like, Dad, come on, man. Well, I listened to a lot of underground hip hop. Sure. And Aesop Rock. Oh, and then yes. Aesop Rocky, I was like, wait. I is this felt Aesop bad Rock? for Aesop. Uh, that I like because Aesop Rock was white. Yeah, he so was I white. That so was it's funny. hilarious. It's like, yeah, well. The funny thing about Aesop Rocky is that he's named after Rakim. His parents named him after Rakim from Eric B and Rakim. Oh, that's cool. And it still wasn't cool enough. <laughs> it's yeah, still ASAP like ASAP Rock. ASAP's is not a great cool. ASAP Rock. ASAP Rock is a fucking great name. ASAP Rock is cool, but it's Rock Kim is just way harder. Like, uh huh. It's just a but there's our rock. he wouldn't have been able to get in because it's ASAP Rock Kim. Because yeah. he, we then we would be him. discussing him right now. Like, he yeah, shouldn't have been Rock. He shouldn't. Have, yeah, he shouldn't. He shouldn't have been. Um, okay, so white people are upset. They're so upset. But then you start wondering. I'm this year's the thing. I'm both sides here because on one side, it's a fucking cartoon. Like yeah. this is not, you know, Charlie's Angels, but one's Indian or I yeah. don't know. I guess that doesn't matter either. It's all made up. But this is a legitimate cartoon, mm-hmm. and of course she was white. It wasn't like her God-given right or our yeah. history. There's no fucking mermaids. She's not based on anyone. Like, why wouldn't she be white? It's Disney in the '80s or '90s. Like she wasn't yeah. going to be anybody else but white. Mm-mm. So, like, if it's a made-up character, they're white. If it's about a tribe, then it's Mulan, you know, Pocahontas and shit like that. This ra- there's a couple issues here that are germane. the The joke that I could never do on stage that I sh- and all of my black comedy friends are too high level. <laughs> the joke is, how are you going to have a mermaid who can't get her hair wet <laughs> now? Uh, I can't Shut do that joke. Up. I can't do that joke. Yes, and then none, none of my friends can really do that joke. But, but um, uh, that's that is so that fucking should. Good. There's a guy Andrew Sullivan who is a he's right. He's he's liberal. He's yeah. gay and Catholic. And Confusing. his argument with he believes that that. I believe like oppressed minorities, he believes, are being too fast with white people. Slow it down. Yes. And like just ease into it. Just ease into like you're gonna like you want a white, you want a black mermaid? Maybe just start with a black and then the and then slowly but surely and ease into it like they did they eased us into slavery. Well, no, like his thing is they ease, they didn't ease anybody. They they didn't eat, they was no easing. You you were just picked up. It wasn't they didn't slow. Like we're slowly gonna. That was no easing. No, I'm joking. No, of course. But I'm saying the the his the, he uses gay the gay movement as a good example. Um, that slowly but surely. I think the gay movement was pretty. Yeah, and it was like yes, unheard exactly. of, and then everywhere. And also, so when, if it were up to white people. It, it, it's, society wouldn't be integrated. Schools wouldn't be integrated. If it were at white people's discretion or comfort level, that's not that's not a good barometer for <laughs> right. 
because everything makes white people uncomfortable. American <clears throat> white people are the most afraid people on planet Earth. Constantly. Well, yeah. Well, we're surrounded by savages. Can you, <laughs> can you, can you, can you imagine what it's like for us? Oh, my uh, God. No, yeah. That's Shut the. <clears throat> Uh, so with the, with the mermaid thing, I just, it reminded me of Andrew Sullivan. And then I was think I listened to Ezra Klein has a podcast. It's yeah. amazing. I sent it to you. Yeah. Um, and he had a woman on about the fear that the browning of America. Right. And it's sort of the same theme that the census actually said that in 2043, it's going to be, uh, there will be more. Quote unquote, it'll be minority majority, which is an old Louis joke. Right. Um, where he's like, he Louis goes to, he did this joke in like 1993. He went, he took the train to Harlem and he's like, would look at all these minorities. <laughs> I'm the only majority here. Right. Um, that's okay. So, so good. but that's like, a minority majority is like, it's so backward. It's insane. Part of me wants to just say to, the people just wait meaning the once you have the majority of people you can get fucking every law just it's, you can basically do an open sneak attack on white people but in the sense is kind and and a lot of other things predicts that the brownings happening within a few decades 2043 yeah that's so what 24 years yeah. isn't it kind of like what are we waiting for right but what's happening now is white people trump being a good example Obama gets elected and white people are like, wait a minute. Is it going to be all, are we under siege? Yeah, wait, now am I are we, am, are, am I the Am I the oppressed minority now? And is that what's going to happen? Then I'm going to start acting out like a cornered animal. Yeah, they're acting like that because they're shrinking. Yes. But. And what I would say to, to I, mean, I don't actually mean this, but a, a, a tactic I thought of for for black and brown people it's just lay lay up in the cut the thing 24 is 24 years and then you go okay and eight million nine million ten million. okay we're the majority so white people you're gonna need to get the fuck out of here and but it won't be like that i think it will be way more apartheid than than it would be okay now black people are moving into power i mean just but white people are not gonna get leave i it's still gonna be an apartheid in terms of uh, money yeah. and access and infrastructure. It's still going to be white institutions. 100%. But if you have the majority of people, it's like Trevor used to say about South Africa, we knew we outnumbered them. Yeah, and look at what happened to South Africa. It took them a long time to rise up from under the... Right, but the they, he said they would... The our, I don't know if we've talked about this. I said, why... African-American men that I have met, whatever, whatever, that I deal with are le are angrier than Af South African men hmm. that I've met through Trevor. And he said, well, because two reasons. We knew we outnumbered them. So A, it was, it, that's A. B, it was elite. If, if you got angry, you would just get killed. Right. And. Just for outrage? Well, yeah, but I know it's something. Mean. Yeah. I mean, I, I, Mandela's crime was pretty negligible right. from what I understand. And this the 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 most interesting one to me was he said and the the in quotes good thing about apartheid was they were very clear about it. You're you are less than us and you will you have a di there are different rules for you. In America, they go, no, we're equal. Right. And you, if you didn't succeed, it's because you're lazy or yeah. defective. Right. So all this shit that you're, all the, all the, it's all, it just creates cognitive dissonance 100%. for black people and it makes black people crazy. <laughs> I mean, in, and not crazy, like, but it just makes it crazy in a, in a angry way of like, oh, these lying motherfuckers. Like they, in, they, they, the whole thing's rigged, and then they lie and say it's not. Right. And you're like, oh, now you're fucking insulting my intelligence by saying it's not rigged when you right. fucking know it's rigged. Not everything the racist. Yeah. I mean, it's better than it was. It's exactly. Just, like, get the fuck out of yeah. here. Uh, but the aerial thing, 
here's the thing outside of race does part of it feels a little pandering feels a little like does superwoman have to be black does she have to no she doesn't necessarily have to be not every i believe in representation not everything has to be a black version mm -hmm. then when it when is it like i mean disney has a very sordid past with like racism it's in the, the first i'm hearing of it go ahead <laughs> okay I don't believe that for one second. So it just feels a little like we're going to profit off whatever's clever. Uh, yeah, of course. Like what? You remember that one? I think it was in Killing Him Softly when he's like, Pepsi or Coke, like whatever yeah. pays me. Yes. And it's just kind of like, why are we putting so much into it? I think we're putting so much into it because people are outraged. But but it's a fake fucking... solution. Yeah. It's That's not a, it's a, the solution is, it's a band-aid. Like, why are people like, yeah, Black Ariel? It's like, fuck Disney. Like, why are we fighting each other? What? Here's an interesting thing. What if it bombs? It won't. Okay. Sorry. Fine. I mean, I, I yes, but what if it bombs? That's the the argument is, what if it bombs? Would Black people go? Oh, right. We're only thirteen thirteen percent of the the population. Right. Uh, maybe we. You know what I mean? I, there's no. I don't. I, and I don't think it will. And I. And I don't, it's kind of not black people's problem to worry if it bombs, but it's, they're running a business, you know? But the reason why I don't think it will bomb, not because it's like, she's black, they won't bomb. It's because uh, the way studios run and the way people make movies, I'm sure you know, is like, it, it's the most risk averse thing. It's like, of course. we're only going with something we can like prove. Yeah, there's like, well, a the risk. funny thing is they, they put Will in Aladdin. Right. And Zoe Saldana is in all those movies. She's Will wasn't black and Zoe's not black. <laughs> they're both blue. Right. Oh, they're blue. <laughs> yeah. or green or whatever color. Will's can... black for a little bit of Aladdin, I think. He is. He turns uh, outside of the blue guy. But he's but Zoe Saldana's been green and and blue. She's never been black. <laughs> it's so fucking sad and racist and no one ever notices it. Yeah, like, it's like we'll You know they green. put a black person in this movie and then they make her a different color? Um, she's a mutant yeah uh so so i don't i don't know what they're i'm excited but i also think i do appreciate when racism comes out over the stupidest thing like a cartoon have you seen the memes the racist memes no that are like it's like ariel and then it says like don't change my history and it has like a flag in the background i'm just like yeah, you're, I know that. I know that not one because I made that one. Uh, yeah. yeah, that mermaid's not a nationality. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an ethnicity. Uh, 